Ford's Escorts and Orions have proved very popular indeed with the buying public since launch, with over half a million sold across Europe. In particular, the LX series, with its high specification and feature levels, has proved a very popular competitor in what has been a tough marketplace, taking nearly 44% of total Escort sales. But now, for 1993 model year, comes news of changes to both Escort and Orion. So, let's see the differences. Escort, 1992 model, a smooth, stylish and aerodynamic exterior. But not nearly as stylish as this new grill treatment on the 93 Escort, giving a really distinctive new look. A feature reflected in 93 Orion, but with subtle differences to differentiate between the models. Escort 1992 model, useful tailgate and big backlight. Now for 1993, with softer, more rounded contours and larger glass area for better visibility. Something else that's bigger and more convenient is this wider tailgate handle. Escort 92, rear lamp, bold and bright enough but not as eye-catching as this new lamp treatment. The 92 car certainly looked good enough from this angle, but now new bumper and lower rear end treatment really adds to the style, and it's even more noticeable on the stylish new look XR3i. What's helped too has been the elegant redesign of the tailgate spoiler. This 1992 Escort 1.6 LX has the CVH engine developing 90 PS, twin Venturi carburetta and no catalyst. Still 90 PS, but with much more torque at much lower revs, needing fewer gear changes, together with electronic fuel injection, standard catalyst and 16 valves, the new 1.6 multi-valve engine for 1993. The 1992 1.6 LX was not available with power steering. The 93 model has power steering as standard, and it's optional on 1.4s too. And this is the low head impact criteria steering wheel for added driver safety, now standard across all the changed models. The doors on the 92 model sported black handles. Now they're elegantly body colored. And they feature edge reflectors with door edge illumination on gear cars. And gears also take one shot down power driver's window too. But one door feature you can't see. Inside the door, new door impact protection beams. Part of a safety story which includes a lot of changes to the structure to minimize damage in offset crashes. So, changes to styling for performance and economy and for safety. But what do they all add up to? We asked motoring reporter Chris Goffey to give us his review of the new models. When Ford launched new Escort and Orion to the motoring writers or muttering rotters, as manufacturers like to call us, it seems only two short years ago, we didn't exactly give it an ecstatic reception. In particular, we weren't very happy with the smoothness and power delivery of the old CVH engine in 1.6 litre form. Well, now we've got the new 93 range of Escort and Orion, and Ford have made some subtle but highly effective styling changes to the cars and under the skins there's both structural and mechanical changes. Now Ford say that makes the cars much more attractive to drive. Let's see if they're right. As soon as you get underway you're at once aware this is a very different engine to the old CVH. This is the latest in the family of engines. We used to call them Zeta, but unfortunately they discovered just before launch that uh, Fiat owned the Zeta name, so that's all disappeared. Uh, this is the 1.6 injection. It's um, specially developed as uh, quite a long stroke engine, and that's for maximum fuel economy, and it delivers its torque from very low down. For instance, I can put it in fifth gear. We're now at about uh, 25 miles an hour. Open the throttle absolutely wide, it just pulls away. That's pretty impressive performance. And yet at the top end, there's none of the harshness that we associated with the old CVH unit. This is the first family of engines from Ford that have been designed from the outset for use with catalytic converters. And of course, they meet all the latest emission standards. And another bonus of the new 16 valve engines, all the cars equipped with them come with power steering as standard. 
Of course, there's no point in fitting a powerful new range of engines into your cars if the basic chassis, handling and road holding won't cope with it. In the Escort, no problems in that direction, of course. And as the power goes up, the tyre sizes, wheel sizes, suspension and uh, damper settings are changed to accommodate it. And of course, anti-lock brakes are available as, as an option. Now, if you're going to fit a new family of engines to your cars, it obviously makes sense to make the engines look good as well. And Ford has certainly achieved that with this new range of twin cams. In fact, they really do look nice under the bonnet. They remind me of the, the old twin cam unit I used to have in my Loza Silan many years ago, except that engine needed a lot more attention than I hope this one will. But this isn't the only changes under the bonnet. Over the last few years, the perception of safety in the motor industry has changed totally. Now, they always used to say that you can't sell safety, but the marketing departments, especially in Germany, will now tell you that safety is above performance in the list of criteria buyers use in choosing cars. Now, if I was an old cynic, I'd say it's because the marketing departments are now involved that the engineers are able to do what they've wanted to do for years. In the Escort and Orion, they substantially strengthened the structure of the car. Under the bonnet, the inner side members have been extended right to the front of the car. They've actually physically increased the thickness of the metal in the transverse panels across the car to increase the stiffness and crash protection. And they've also considerably strengthened the entire cage protection right round the doors. In the doors themselves, they built in SIBs, side impact bars to you and me, very substantial pieces of ironmongery that fit right down the door and will resist quite a savage onslaught. Of course, security has been a peculiarly British problem for the last few years, and the joyriders seem to have been getting away with it scot-free. Ford's done their bit by fitting alarms right across the range, but for 1993, they're going to double locking. Even if you break a window and reach in, you can't release a door to get entry to the vehicle. But of course, at the end of the day, it's what's fitted to a car that's of more interest to a lot of buyers than under the skin improvements. Now, when you climb into the gear version of this Orion, the first thing that strikes you is the high level of equipment that's been fitted. There's one-touch windows on the driver's side, these excellent front heated screen, and that's a real boon in bad weather. I can't imagine why more manufacturers don't fit them. Steering wheel adjusts. You get a really comfortable position, and the steering wheel itself is this new Ford design that helps absorb any impact from your head in really severe accidents. The seats adjust forward and backwards travel, as you'd expect, but push the lever at the front here down, and you've got a considerable degree of up and down movement, and I like that for supporting you under your thighs in long journeys. Under the passenger seat, there's this intriguing little tray for oddments, but it, in fact, a very good idea. You can put valuables in there and stow them away from prying eyes of people who are walking past the car. Finally, on this car, an optional extra, this intriguing radio, the 2008 RDS, it has a, a memory function. And you press this button and it'll play back what was transmitted up to 96 seconds ago. Why have a function like that? Well, supposing there was an advert on and they gave out a phone number at the end and you wanted to remember it, you press the button, it'll play the advert back to you. More important, you can program it so that when you come out of uh, the house in the morning, jump in the car, you simply press a button and it will tell you all the RDS traffic information for the last hour so you know exactly what the situation on the roads is before you set out. Same thing after work, press the button and it will tell you that the M25 is jammed solid before you even get to it. Now obviously we get invited to a lot of so-called new model launches and all too often when you turn up you're disappointed. It's little more than a grill change or some new wheel trims. Well, that's definitely not the case for 93 model year Escort and Orion. Apart from the subtle changes to the body that I think make the back of the Escort in particular look very attractive, there's the new engines that improve the drivability and those fundamental changes to body engineering to improve crash protection and safety. All in all, it makes the new Escort and Orion range a very attractive proposition. <laughs>